live on Facebook. Apparently, Alicia was right, so I guess we just learned something, uh, Dan Murray. So, Lab Code Agents, welcome back for another awesome webinar. We had a fantastic one this morning with Facebook. We've got another one this afternoon, and I am the lucky one that gets to talk to bomb bomb this afternoon, or I guess it depends where you're at. It's afternoon for me. It's probably lunchtime for her and maybe morning still for you on the West Coast. We're gonna talk about how to pivot in a social and virtual world. If I didn't already mention, Alicia Baruti is with bomb bomb. If you don't know what bomb bomb is, I've said this before, I'll say it again, and I don't feel bad about it. You're living under a rock. It is one of the absolute best video platforms to use in your business. I swear by it. We love it. We use it religiously, and so should you. But enough about that. Alicia, welcome to Lab Code Agents. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. So we have like 200 plus people that are live here. Uh, welcome to all of you on Zoom. And then, of course, we'll have thousands in Lab Code Agents that will end up watching this. Uh, so if you have any questions or chats along the way, please put them in the chat box and we will try to address as many of them as we can. But let's first, Alicia, have you introduce yourself and what you do for BombBomb. Why don't you give a little background about what BombBomb is for those who don't know what it is? Yeah, absolutely. So my title is National Speaker, which is really just uh, a fancy title for evangelist. Um, I spend most of my time educating about simple video. And that's really what Bomb Bomb is. We focus on simple video. And the way that I like to make the differentiation between video for marketing versus simple video, uh, video for marketing is, it's more like the spaghetti that you throw on the wall to see what sticks, right? And it's an important piece of your business. And quite often with your video for marketing, you're putting a lot of time and money into producing something that is going to help promote your business and it's very public facing simple video is more about video for connection video for building relationships which is suddenly now even more important but what bomb bomb does we make it really really easy for you to record and send video over email and text one of my favorite questions that i love that I always get people think they're, you know, they're gonna catch me is the, okay, but I have video on my phone, why do I need bomb bomb? And we're essentially, it's, it's the ease of use, we're the delivery mechanism, right? If you've taken a video of the baby and you wanna send it to grandma, you've probably run into this before where it tells you it's too big. You don't run into that with bomb bomb, it's, you know, we host it on our servers, email, text, they don't have to download anything. It's not an attachment. You get to record a video and speak directly to the people that you wanna to speak to, either one-to-one -to -one or en masse. Correct, yes, and, and I can, let me add a little bit to this. As a user, um, mm -hmm. I, have, I, have, I have bias, but only because I love the platform, but you're not paying me to say anything that I say. It is, like you said, you have video on your phone, you can do that. You have maybe a cell phone, you have a camera, maybe a DSLR camera or something like that. But there is so, so much simplicity to using something like BombBomb. So for us, we have it embedded into Outlook, our email server. And literally, I push a little red button, pops open a screen. So instead of having to type a paragraph or two paragraphs, which I might do anyway, I can then inflect one, a tone, right? I can give tonality. Uh, B, I can show emotion. Uh, and C, I can explain something that maybe they would take out of context in a typed email and I can do it via video. And then I can even reference, say, hey, please see below for the list of documents that I need to get going on this, on this, you know, on this transaction. And yeah. it's so freaking powerful. And that doesn't even mention the fact that we're establishing a stronger rapport and relationship with our clients that it's like, it's, it, it's so beyond, and that's the thing I want to, to, to just hit on, it's just so beyond typical video that you think, oh, well, it's so easy, I could do this. Yeah, I guess you could, but there's a lot of work to it. Whereas when it's embedded, it's literally click, record, send, yep. and by the way, there's a three second loop in there. So if you're waving or you're doing White something board. like this and you're, you're holding up a whiteboard and you can yep. say their name on it, it's, uh, it is, it's literally one of the best inventions that I've ever come across in business. We love it. 
I love that. Well, you know, we as humans, we communicate most naturally face to face. We've been communicating this way for as long as humans have been communicating. Written word came after that. And we know that plain text, either in an email or in a text message is lacking. It's why we put emojis or smiley faces because you're trying to convey things that are missing. So not only is it easier to give information to a potential client, to explain a complicated contract, um, to answer a question this way, it's also easier for them to consume it. When we yeah. watch the video, we retain about 95% of the information as opposed to only 10% when you're reading it. So it's easier for them to consume it uh, one of my favorite things about the power of video right now um, is that when you watch a video with human faces in it, it actually stimulates serotonin production in your brain the same way as it would if you're having a face-to-face -face conversation. So for an agent right now to be able to send simple videos out to their clients and to connect and check in and say, hey, how, how are you doing? By sending a video instead of sending a text message, you actually are positively affecting their brain chemistry and the way that they're gonna move throughout their day by simply sending a 30 second video to say, hey, I'm thinking about you. 100%, and, and the one, one thing that I do wanna back, we've got a couple of questions I wanna address real quick. Uh, the thing about BombBomb Bomb to me because we're having this conversation. So Alicia and I don't know each other other than I see her videos because I subscribe to BombBomb. Bomb. Um, but the thing about BombBomb Bomb to me is, so, so I have, I do a lot of video, right? I'm a video influencer at, as per you guys. Yep. And, and we, um, so we, we have a show. So we, uh, Noelle Nielsen and I do a show on Lab Codes called Viral Video. We've been doing that for about a year and a half now. And we just started a video school. So there's a lot of things that we're doing to teach video. And the thing about video is, is people, even today, when they know they need it, there's still a lot of people that are saying, I'm scared to death of video, right? And what I always tell people, especially those that are scared to death of video, I say start with something like Bomba because it's so, it's so less scary, yeah. right? Because you're not putting it out to the entire world to see. You're not posting it to social media. It's one-to-one -one conversation with your client. So if you can have a conversation with your client face-to-face, -face, which you all can, I know you can, you do, yeah. Why not have a one-to-one -one, face to face conversation via video as a way of practicing getting in front of video? Because that's all it typically is, is one-to-one -one for the most part or whoever you're emailing, right? Yeah. And so it's, it's the best, to me, it's one of the best video practice platforms essentially that you can possibly have. And again, I can speak from, that's probably why Tristan wanted me to interview you today because I have a lot of personal experience with this. We have won a lot of deals where the customer said, I chose you because of your video. I chose you because you took the time and I understood what you explained and I didn't get that from the other guy or gal. And it makes such a huge difference. And by the way, folks, this was like six months ago, well before what's going on right now. Now it's becoming even more relevant than it's ever been. Yeah. So let me, let me address a couple of questions before they get buried. Uh, number one, uh, one question is what email platforms does it work with? I'll let you answer that. Yeah. So it works with all email platforms. I, I said this on a webinar yesterday, even if you are using AOL, I won't shame you. You can still use bomb bomb. Now we have it directly integrated inside of Gmail. We have it directly integrated inside of Outlook. So if you are a Gmail or an Outlook user, you have our recorder and your video library directly inside of your email platform so that you don't have to navigate anywhere else. Now, if you're not Gmail or Outlook, that's fine. You can still send from the web platform. You can send from the mobile app. Um, we have tons of CRM integrations. So you very likely can also send from inside your CRM. Our Chrome extension actually gives you the ability to record a video in the Chrome browser from anywhere. You could literally be logged into any site and record a video up in that Chrome extension and then grab the link or the HTML code and then pop it into a message. So you can use it with any email. I love it, I love it. Another uh, question, which by the way, I'm gonna answer it with a whiteboard. So this is, we use this a lot. Uh, when you send a message to clients or you send a message to maybe a group of people, we always recommend that you uh, 
send write their name on it so mm -hmm. they know that it's a personal message which will make them open it's more likely to open which by the way i think the open rate on emails is like 85 percent or maybe 75 percent on emails with video versus emails without so it's it's crazy statistics uh, but yes. somebody asked what's the website uh, i believe it's bombbomb.com correct that's mm -hmm. all i yep. have to give them yep and, um, and we, we have a free trial so you can go Sign up for a free trial and just give it a go for two weeks. And it's not a, it. give us, it's not a give us your credit card and make sure you remember to cancel in two weeks, bait and switch. It really is a free trial. Love it. Love it. Uh, can you use it with video that is already done as a way to share a video from, let's say, my phone? Yeah, absolutely. So um, we are both the delivery mechanism, giving you the ability to send video over email and text, as well as video hosting. So you can upload any video into the BombBomb Bomb platform. Um, we support video files up to two gigs in length, which is just the same as YouTube. So that's about 45 minutes of standard um, or 90 minutes of HD. You are very likely not gonna ever need to do a video that long, but we have brokers that send out office meetings and trainings, especially right now, you do have the ability to send a longer video, but um, because we are that delivery mechanism as well, Right. If you have a professionally produced listing video, yes, you're posting that publicly for marketing. But you can also upload it into BombBomb so that you can deliver it directly to a person or a whole list of people. Does that uh, also include a loop when you do it that way? Uh, it, when you upload a video, I, it will still take those first three seconds and loop it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Now you're, you're, you're making me question that one. I'm actually going to write it down and double check on that. That was actually, that's a question from me because I've never thought about it. And one of, and one of the biggest powers, uh, one of the, the pieces I love the most about Bomb Bomb is that three second loop because yeah. it's, it catches your eyes. So whether totally. you're receiving it via text or email, you, if you do this or you're showing a whiteboard, you get that three second loop, which makes it eye catching, which makes it more, uh, you know, appealing to the eye to open the email, obviously. When we um, oh go ahead. Okay, uh, actually, if you want to finish what you're saying, go ahead. Yeah, when we transition from the static thumbnail to that three-second loop, we actually saw our customer video play rates increase by about forty-eight percent almost immediately. Just that little bit of motion in the inbox. It's one of the it's one of the features that you know we have. I don't think anyone else is doing, um, but it's. It's eye catching and your, your audience is used to seeing that right on Facebook and on Instagram, they're used to seeing the motion. And so we've just kind of duplicated it in the email. That's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, somebody had a question is what's the Chrome extension that you just mentioned? Yeah. So um, the Chrome extension is what powers our Gmail. However, even if you're not using Gmail, as long as you are using a Chrome browser and you are a bomb bomb customer, um, you can add on the extension. It works like any other extension you would add on if you have, you know, all those different things in your browsers. I know there's ones that like is coupon codes. So if you just go to the Chrome web store, that's the easiest thing in a, in a Google Chrome browser, just search Chrome web store and search bomb bomb and it just adds it on to the browser. So then you have this little bomb icon up in the browser so that you can record from right in the browser as well as access your video library. So one of the use cases that I use for that Chrome extension a lot is if I'm sending video messages over Facebook Messenger or LinkedIn, because even though Facebook Messenger has a video thing built into their platform, I don't like it. You only get 20 seconds. And as soon as you lift your thumb off of that button, it pops the video into the message. So if I want to send someone a video in Facebook Messenger, I'm in Facebook, just like I normally would. The little Chrome extension, that bomb icon is up in the corner. I just press record. It opens up my recorder. I record my video. When I'm done, I grab the link and I pop it into the Messenger message. So you can do that in any number of places. Love it. I love it. And so I have a question here that I think I want to answer, but I want to, I'm going to pose it. Uh, it says, I'm using the free, tr tr free trial, but how is this better than just uploading my short video to my YouTube and sharing that link? And if, if I can answer first, because I used to do that, 
yeah. and that is totally viable. Uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it that way. However, if you really want to use BombBomb how we use BombBomb, I'm not kidding when I say we replace almost every single email, the text, with a video. I've sent five this morning alone to my people. I have, I have one, of, one of my employees. I'm not kidding. I, he's probably in the thousands just in 2020 in numbers of videos that he already sends because he sends, first of all, he does a lot of deals, uh, but he use, usually uses BombBomb in his emails almost every single email. That's how he communicates now. It's just like become the common practice. So the YouTube method is, is exactly what I did for years before BombBomb was even an option, but it's clunky and it's time consuming. And for me, I still use my YouTube religiously, but that, that's like for my good content, like evergreen, strong content. We are using BombBomb as a messaging tool. Yep. So if I have to send you a text saying, Hey, so and so, I just wanted to let you know I dropped a, a, an amendment in this email. I need you to sign it and get it back to me right away. I could have typed that, sure, and I might still have typed it, but I'm going to send that video message because it makes me stand above. There are not many people using, believe it or not, BombBomb is by far probably the number one platform out there for this, but there there's not that many people probably using it in relation to how many real estate agents there are in this, in this country. And so it's so powerful. So to answer the question, this is an anonymous person, otherwise I'd address them by name. You can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. And there are other platforms too, by the way. I'm, I mean, obviously we're talking to BombBomb Bomb here, but it's, that is going to be much more time consuming and you, you might send two or three a day, but not 20. Yeah. And that's the biggest difference. Yep. Well, and, and that's exactly like they're, they're meant for different things. YouTube is intended for public facing marketing. Bomb bomb. We really focus on the communication and relationship aspect. So, you know, one of the simple things that I have agents tell me all the time, make sure they win almost every listing in a competitive listing, you know, uh, situation is the video they send after the listing appointment. So if you walk out of a listing appointment and get in your car and drive around the block and pull out your phone and say, Tom, Julie, thank you so much for inviting me in your home today. What a beautiful home. You know, I'm so excited to get this on the market for you. That video is winning agents more deals. If you had to record that, go to YouTube, wait for it to upload, make it private, copy the link, and then send it to a client, you're not going to do it. You're just not. So yep. it really is. You have to you have to differentiate the two in your mind. And and the marketing piece is so important for your business. You should be putting stuff on YouTube. You should be doing professionally produced listing videos and that type of content. Bomb bomb is meant for something different. It's meant to enhance your regular communication. Right. The the yep. emails that you are already sending the messages that you are already sending that could be delivered more effectively by a human being, that's what BombBomb is for. 100%, and let's, let's clarify that, and maybe I should have done that in the beginning. This is a video platform, but it's not Zoom. It's not a videographer. It's not a platform where you're creating content to put necessarily on social media, although I do know people that actually do do that. Uh, but it is a messaging, that primarily it's a messaging platform. So let's be very clear about what this is. It's, it's an ancillary piece of your business. You probably need Zoom, you probably need BombBomb, and you probably need to hire a videographer every once in a while. All three of those, they're separate, you know? Yeah. You're creating different kind of content. Yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me answer some more questions real quick. So uh, one person asks, and, and I guess we assumed, a three second loop. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys know Boomerang. Does everybody know Boomerang? Like when you take a Boomerang, it's like this little quick it's just like all it does is record and play back your a short three second snip. That three second loop is the same thing. So if I start my video with my whiteboard, for example, like this, this is what you're seeing. You're not going to see the continuation. All you're seeing is this, which is eye catching, or you're seeing me do this, or you're seeing me go like this. Yeah, you get that three second loop. That's what a three second loop is. So it's just playing continuously. So the person who has your, your email sees, okay, they're talking to me. I better click and watch this. That's what a three second loop is. Exactly. Uh, let's see, uh, how does it work for teams? Does every mem member need their own subscription? So because we are an email product, we are sending from your email address, either directly from inside of Gmail or Outlook, and you just are using our extension and it's coming from your email address. 
or you know we're sending on your behalf as a third party sender like when you send from the web platform so yes people need to have their own email address i have some teams from time to time that use like an info at or a team at email address and they can get away with one account because they all send from the exact same email address but ideally anyone who is interacting with clients from their own email address should have their own account but we do have team platforms um, you definitely get a discount um, when you sign up if you go for a free trial when you start um, that free trial you'll have a phone call from someone that will ask about a team and direct you in the right direction but our team platform is really cool because the team dashboard gives you the ability to number one share content across the team um, it also gives you the ability to see who's using video to see how many emails sent to see what kind of reply rate someone is getting so if you have someone on your team that's sending a ton of video and they're getting way more replies easy you can talk to them see what they're doing and then duplicate across that team um, so that you guys are all having the same kind of success so there's a lot of cool things there available for teams yeah it's really cool we we have a dashboard and we use it we run contests uh to, to encourage the use of bomb bomb and and don't get me wrong so i have a team of 35 people and there are some that still won't use it uh, and there are some that are using it like i don't even know how they're creating so many videos it's absolutely insane uh, but i know why because they're just replacing every single email but it is fun to use and the dashboard is really cool uh because it allows us to, to run contests and do some yep. fun things because the reality is I mean, you can argue with me until you're blue in the face like everybody argues with me about whether or not TikTok's going to be relevant. Uh, this video is, is not going away. It's only going to become more and more relevant. And those that embrace it and use it are going to likely have more success than somebody that doesn't. I know that's a bold statement and there will be people that have success without video. But by and large, as, 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 a, as a, a group of people, as, as, as the sum, the people that embrace video are going to be way ahead of those that don't. And this is just another example of a piece that you should have in your business that you want in your business because it makes a huge difference. Uh, now, let me ask you somebody, somebody, oh, good. Yeah, go ahead. Especially Before. right now. Like if, if this crisis has shown anything, it's that video is giving a lot of agents the ability to still run their business in a way that they wouldn't have been able to before, even with, you know, doing virtual tours and, and walkthroughs and things like that. So it's definitely not going anywhere. And, and we know just by watching what's happening right now that it's only going to become more important. 100%. And, and anybody who thinks that virtual tours are just going to stop the minute that we come out of this quarantine, uh, you're wrong. I mean, it's going to become more normal. People are going to embrace this stuff. And it doesn't mean we're not going to go back to doing live showings and we're not going to go back to doing live open houses, uh, but there's going to be a, a good portion of people that coming out of this is going to say, mm, if I have the option for virtual, I'll take it because right. I'm a germaphobe and I just don't want to be around people. And so if you have that, if, if you're embracing video and it's in your arsenal, it's just gonna make you stand above from those that say, oh, nope, it's only a live one, I don't have that ability, I'm not really good in front of the camera. You, you gotta get over it, you just gotta yeah. get used to it. Yeah. Um, somebody asked, America asked, can you show us where to add that Chrome link, but then sh then they also put the um, a link in there, so I'm assuming they found it for themselves, maybe they're just trying to have you confirm that, if you can look on the Q&A, or on the chat, on the chat, Alicia. Um, do you wanna talk about, uh, John actually just mentioned that it works with text messages as well as email. That is correct. We mentioned that in the beginning, but we'll clarify or, or, or expand upon that. Yes, it works just as effectively uh, with text message as it does email. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you want to talk any, anything about that. I mean, we do, I, I tend to use it more in email, but we do use it in text as well. Yeah. So um, just a couple things that I'll say on text to, to make sure for transparency and for have reasonable expectations. Um, you can always text a bomb bomb video using using your mobile app. How it displays on the recipient's end uh, has lots of variations. So, for example, if I am sending a bomb bomb video through text to another iPhone user, because I'm an iPhone user, and we have a history together, meaning we have texted each other before, then that video will display as a clickable video thumbnail it'll even have the motion the gif in it okay 
But for example, Jeff and I have never texted before. So even if Jeff is an iPhone user, if I send him a text video from my BombBomb app right now, it's not gonna be clickable until we have some sort of relationship. BombBomb has no control over these. The way that it displays has everything to do with what device they're on, what operating system, who their carrier is. So you always want to make sure, even in email, that you include text with the video, a certain amount of text. Hey, it's Alicia from BombBomb. I recorded you a quick video below, press play. Same thing with your video text, um, especially if you're sending it to someone that you have never communicated with before. Hey, I sent you, I recorded you a quick personal video to introduce myself, press play. So you always want to make sure you're clear about that because we have people all the time that are like, well, it just shows a link. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of control over how it displays. So you just want to be really clear with that person about what it is that they're clicking on there. Um, and then the other thing that I would say is just operate, um, healthy and respectful text practices, right? Like mm. you cannot mass text from BombBomb. Bomb. We are never ever gonna give you that ability um, because it's not really best practices for us. So you're not gonna ever have the ability to like mass text through BombBomb. Bomb. That texting functionality is really designed for just one-to-one. -one. Uh, and honestly, if you're gonna be mass texting a video message anyway, the, the, the beauty of BombBomb Bomb is the personal you know, feel. Whereas if you're going to be sending out mass texts, that, that, or mass text, that's the kind of thing that you could create and put it into YouTube and then send that link. Send a link. Uh, because that's going to be evergreen content. Yep, uh, exactly. So a few, a few more, a few more questions. Um, do you get to review the video before it goes out on text and go ahead and mention, and by the way, uh, Sandra asked about the cost. We'll get to that. I, I just didn't want to ignore that uh, to review. So when, and I, I'm going to answer one real quick. When you put an email out, when you do an email video, you get to watch yourself before it actually sends. Can you do the same thing via text? Yeah, absolutely. Anytime you're using the BombBomb Bomb recorder, once you are done recording, it gives you the option to watch it back, to re-record it, or save it. And then once you hit that save option is then where you're going to have the option, or are you going to email this? Who are you emailing it to? Are you going to send it as a text message? So you always have the opportunity to review your video. This is what I will say, though. This is my expert opinion from someone who spends a lot of time with agents. Don't watch your videos back. If you are, <laughs> if you are someone that struggles with uh, criticizing yourself or being your own worst enemy, or if you are someone that is not doing as much video as you would like because you are uncomfortable or you don't like the way you look or you don't like the way your voice sounds, don't watch them back. There is no benefit to that if it's only gonna make it harder for you. The amount of high paid professional actors and actresses, you know, professional Hollywood actors and actresses that don't watch their movies because it makes them uncomfortable, you wouldn't even believe it. Reese Witherspoon, she's someone that we can all agree is objectively an attractive human being. She doesn't watch her stuff back because it makes her uncomfortable. So I just want to encourage you that that's really, really normal to cringe or to not like it or to criticize yourself when you're watching them. Don't do it. Yeah. Think of it like yeah. a voicemail. Yeah. And coming from someone who does a hell of a lot of video, I still, although I'm super comfortable now, a, I still get nervous when I shoot some videos, when I go live every once in a while. Uh, and B, I still don't like the way I sound. A lot of times I don't like the way I look. Yep. A lot of times the camera's too close and you can see my pores or my wrinkles and I don't like it, but I've gotten over it. I just don't care. That's who I am. That's what I am. And, and, that, and that's really the attitude that it takes to be successful with video. Well, and we are our own worst critics. The, the things that you think about when you're watching that video back, no one else is thinking about. And I'm, I'm the same way as you, Jeff. I, I've been a paid actor since I was 12 years old. I do obviously a ton of video for BombBomb, Bomb, both public facing and one-to-ones. And I get into the exact same trap. I went live on Facebook for BombBomb Bomb yesterday, which even though this is live on Facebook and I do this all the time, something about going live by myself is nerve wracking. And yeah. after it was over, I started to go back and watch it. And I was like, nope, this actually is not productive for me. All it's doing is getting me in my own head. So don't do it. 
I love it. I love it. We just had a great question that needs to be addressed. Uh, Michael asks, is there a way to see if the recipient has viewed the video? This is an awesome feature of Bama. Yeah. Um, so we track everything that you send, whether it has a video in it or not. So if you are using the Gmail or the Outlook extension, um, you still are going to get tracking on everything you send. So we track email opens. We track video plays. We tell you how many times they played your video, how many times they opened the email. Our video heat mapping as far as video engagement just got an upgrade so you know how long they watch the video. Um, I, the tracking is one of the things that I have people tell me that they would pay for BombBomb Bomb just for the tracking. Because here's the thing. If you sent a CMA to someone three months ago and then they stopped returning your phone calls and they drop off the face of the planet, which never happens, right? That never happens. But today they went back into their inbox and they opened up that email and wanted to look at that CMA again. Would you want to know that they just opened up that email? Of course you would. That's what we do for you. So incredibly powerful. I, and we didn't bring that up. I'm really glad, Michael, you asked that question yeah, because question. The, tr the tracking in and of itself is worth the price of admission. It, it's amazing. Uh, another question, are the videos permanent or do they expire? They are permanent as long as they stay in your video library. Um, I can tell you, we do not cap your video library. Um, I have probably about 8,000 videos in my library. Um, as long as that video is in your library, people can still watch it, which is another good thing. The tracking doesn't expire. It happens to me all the time where I will see a tracking notification pop up to an email that I sent someone a year and a half ago. So those don't expire, the videos don't expire. If you delete a video from your library though, even if you sent it to someone, they can't view it anymore because it's being hosted on our servers. So don't delete any videos that you actually want someone to see. We get people do that all the time. They like go into their video library and think they're cleaning it up and they just deleted a bunch of content that was still out there. Yeah, that's a, it's a great point. So you're, in other words, uh, if you want it, if you don't go in and delete it, that stuff is in there. So if you have to go back and reference or grab a video that you sent to as one client, if you want to send to another oh, yeah. client, you can do that. Well, um, that's, a, that's me, a benefit is having a video library with evergreen content in it. I know that you guys leverage that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All day long. Uh, how long can a video be? So uh, two gigs in length, which is about 45 minutes of standard definition <laughs> or 90 minutes of HD. So, yeah. I, if, and if you're sending out that long of video, no you might as well you might as well go to Zoom or just go live or just record it on your phone and put that into YouTube. Uh, yeah. My personal opinion on these, you know. Every once in a while, we'll get up to five, six, seven minutes, uh, you know, because we're, we're sending internal messages all the time and we're explaining stuff. Now I realize, because here's the thing, another, another feature of BombBomb, Bomb, when the recipient receives your BombBomb, Bomb, it says how long the video is. And the beauty of it is it rounds down. Yeah. So if, you're, if, yeah. if your video is like a, a minute and 45 seconds, it says watch one minute video. Yep. So yep. that way it kind of, it does it, it kind of tricks them to make them not think it's as long as it is and gets them to watch it, which is kind of the point. Uh, but this, like anything, just like with social videos, if your videos are too long, you're just losing viewers. They're not going to stick with it. We live in an ADD world. It's just not going to happen. So there's, if you can keep them shorter, uh, you're probably going to get more people that stick with them. Now, again, if you're just using this for one-to-one, -one, then it doesn't even matter uh, because it's one-to-one. -one. And yeah. then if your recipient is not watching, you'll know they're not watching because you're getting, uh, you're going to, you're going to be uh, reminded of that. They're, you're going to get the notification. So, uh, so, best, so many amazing features. Best practices on length of video has a lot to do with what the purpose of the video is. And do you have an established relationship with that person? So a first touch video, like an introduction, a lead response, uh, you know, Hey, thank you so much for, you know, connecting or requesting more information that video should be like under one minute and you're going to see a higher play rate on those kinds of videos from someone you don't know, right? Or with someone you don't know if it's under a minute, because when that says play 40 second video, they're more likely to do that. Now, mm -hmm. if you are sending a video to a client to explain a complicated piece of information and that's information that they are asking for and they trust you, you can get away with a three minute video. They're still going to press play on that 
because you're providing value that they need and they trust you. So a lot of, I'd say that is an important way to frame it in your mind is what kind of relationship do I have with this person? And what is the purpose of this video? If it's something like a happy birthday video, for example, you know, I train on, you know, either using something like a silly national holiday or, you know, an on this day in history or a celebrity birthday to make a quick 30, 40 second, hey Jeff, happy birthday. I don't know if you know this, but you share a birthday with Elvis Presley, have a good day, right? That's, you know, 45 second video, that's great. I have a client that decided to run with this idea and does like four or five minute happy birthday videos where he goes through and tells them, you know, how many seconds that they've been alive and how many times the earth has rotated. And he does this whole thing. Like, even if your clients love you, they don't want to watch a four minute birthday video from you, right? The purpose, the purpose of that video does not need to be four minutes long. So you just have to kind of frame it, think about who the recipient is and what's the goal of the video. I agree. I agree. And you bring up happy birthdays. If, if you are sitting there right now thinking to yourself, ah, yeah, this is cool. Just th think about this. How many real estate agents or just sales professionals in general or just family members, you know, we all go send, put messages on people's Facebook page. We all send a text. We might even do a phone call. How many people are actually sending video birthday greetings? It's a very small percentage. And if you want a way to really stand above and stand out and stay top of mind, man, what a golden way to do it. You could use your whiteboard. You could write happy birthday. You could do whatever. You can get creative with it. Um, whatever you want to do. It's, it's awesome. A, so, a couple more questions real quick. Can I say something okay. about Good. the yeah. birthday videos? Um, so when we watch a video with human faces, it stimulates serotonin production in our brain the exact same way as if you were having a face-to-face -face conversation. And real estate is all about relationships, right? It does not matter how much technology ever comes into the space. It's about building relationships and maintaining relationships. So as a real estate agent, do you want to be one of 45 or 145 people on their Facebook wall that said happy birthday in plain text? Or do you want to be the person that had a positive effect on their brain chemistry and the way that they moved through their day because they got a video of you with a smile, right? Saying, oh, happy birthday. I'm thinking about you today. No one forgets a real estate agent or a lender or whatever it is that's sending them that kind of personal message because it's not just about the fact that you checked the box. You're creating connections in their brain between you and them you're actually investing in a relationship, not just checking a box. I love, I love, I love the, the brain mentions that you, that you make because it's so true. And again, folks, think about this. Like you build this into your strategy. If you can take one thing from this and whether you use bomb bomb or not, if you just like took your Facebook reminders every single day of the birthdays and you picked out the people that are your, you know, your, your A's, maybe your A's and B's on your referral list, your referral partners and just your, you know, your sphere, your SOI. And you made a point to send them videos every single day. It might take you 10, 15, 20 minutes. That's it. Every single day, man, that is going to have such a long standing impact on the relationships that you built with these people that it will change. It, 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 yeah. I don't know if it'll change your career, but it will have a massive impact on your, just little things like that goes so far. Well, and, and this is what I would say, and this is what I have been saying for the last three weeks. I think this is like my 15th webinar or session in the last three weeks on, on what people should be doing in their business right now. And I can tell you, hands down, one of the best things that you could be doing in your business right now is setting aside some time every day and going through your sphere, your clients, and sending quick personal one-to-one -one videos saying, hey, I just want to check in with you. How are you doing? How's your family? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Like, normally I would never train you to send a just checking in video, right? That's like the worst thing you could do. Except right now, that is the best thing that you could do for your business. Because like Jeff just said, like you're making such a positive impact by investing into relationships. People are going to remember that long after all of this crisis is over. If you were the person that sent them a personal video saying, hey, I am thinking about you and your family right now. How can I serve you? Or what do you need? 
that is going to have a bigger impact on your business than probably any amount of money that you could spend on marketing. That's, that's, it's funny too. We just had an email this morning to our people saying, this is what you should be doing. And I, one of my partners sent it out and then I followed up with the bomb bomb video to all of our people saying, and do, do not do one thing. If you're reaching out to your sphere right now, friends, family, SOI, past clients, referral partners, and you're saying, I just checking in on you, seeing how you're doing, I just, you know, just, that's it. If you drop a, oh, and by the way, don't forget about me if you, for all your real estate needs, do not yeah. do that. Do yeah. not do that. You will look like a slime ball and, and that will just embarrass you. So just yeah. come from a place of concern and compassion and sympathy yeah. and be there for your people and the people will remember you. Here's the thing. If, if you are reaching out to your past clients and in your sphere as a human being, showing up and being present in a difficult time, if you are showing up as a human being, if they have real estate questions, they will ask them. It's all that needs to be said. Yeah. They will ask. Yeah, totally. Totally agree. All right, let's jam through it because we're running out of time. So uh, Christopher asked what evergreen content means. Christopher, that just means like the kind of content that uh, can be usable uh, six months from now. So you might create a video that's very relevant to like what's going on right now. So like I do a video about the coronavirus, what's well, really relevant now. But if I do just a typical branding video that I could reuse over and over again, like I could post it now and I can post it in six months and it still applies, that's what evergreen content means. Not just about video, about content in general. Yeah. Um, so that's what evergreen means. Uh, somebody asked how, uh, about hosting, uh, who owns the videos? Is there an affiliate component to BombBomb? Bomb? So we are hosting the videos on our server for you, but that is your content. Um, those videos are not repurposed. We're not advertising. They're not publicly used or anything like that. You still own your content. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, are there filters that you can add? And, and actually, let me add two questions together. Uh, filters. Uh, can you do different backgrounds? Can you add music? Can you get creative with your videos? So through BombBomb, Bomb, on the BombBomb Bomb platform, um, you cannot edit. There's no filters. There's no backgrounds. Um, you can do that on another platform and upload into BombBomb. Bomb. Um, but I just, I will continue to push and encourage you to focus on simple. Number one, the filter thing. Listen, this is not the first time I have been asked this. In fact, many years ago when I was on, uh, when I was an inside sales rep, doing one-to-one -one demo calls for BombBomb. Bomb. Someone told me they wouldn't buy an account because there wasn't a filter for, for face. And I, this is, listen, this is a very real human insecurity and I understand, but the solution is not putting a filter so you look less human. The solution is to work on getting comfortable in your own skin. And I know this is a really real thing, but people can connect with humanity in a way that they cannot connect with more produced things. The minute you start adding logos and music and a green screen background, you are no longer doing simple video for human connection. You've moved over to the marketing side and people react to them differently. Our brains react differently. Once you've got the music and the soft you know, logo flying across the screen, people see that as something that's being used to market them and they don't connect with it the same way. So, Yes, you can have that type of backgrounds and filters and music and do that on an external platform and load it into BombBomb. Bomb. You certainly can. Um, but I will encourage you to focus on human. Um, I read an article just this morning from the Associated Press. And the title of the article was Celebrities Reveal New Sides During Virus. And it was actually talking about all of these celebrities that we normally see highly produced in their homes without makeup, With makeup yeah. just being human and being yeah. human beings and showing when their kids in their houses. And the whole point of the article was talking about the fact that these celebrities are most likely going to increase their goodwill yes. and the way that people respond to them and their, you know, their status, their celebrity status. They're most likely increasing that by showing up in their homes in pajamas with their kids being human beings. And it's yeah. specifically said because people feel more connected to it and it gives people a sense that we're all in this together. It's the same thing in your regular business. 
I love it. I love it. And that's so true. I'm, I uh, am following Joe Buck now and, and it's the same thing. He's come, he's doing videos in his bathroom and in his bedroom and, and he's not made up up. And I was like, damn, makeup does a lot. But now it's like, I'm so entertained and I, I'm now following him religiously where I wasn't before. And um, it's exact same thing. And this, by the way, folks, applies to your social media content. You should not be perfect all the time. You should be real. You yeah. should come to people, come to your audience as who you are. I, I'm usually speaking to women when I say this, and I know that's hard, yeah. but if you come to your audience as the, the real you, I'm not saying right when you roll out of bed, that might be a little much, uh, but not all dialed up, that's when they relate and they're like, that's my person. And yeah. they just have that connection to you. It's so powerful. I, let's, let's, let's get into... Um, Oh, actually, yeah. there's another yeah. question real quick. Sorry. Uh, when using Biobomb, do you recommend recording videos vertically or horizontally? So uh, horizontal is always better, especially for email, because that it's going to fit into the email. Um, that's question. the way videos are supposed to be shot. The only time that you should be recording videos this way is if it's for Instagram stories or uh, IGTV or Facebook stories. Other than that, you should always turn it this way. Is it, is it the end of the world if you do it in portrait? No, but it fits better in landscape. Um, if you record it in portrait in an email, they may not even be able to see the whole video on their screen. They might have to scroll. So always in landscape. I love it. And by the way, there's another option that you have, and we're not going to get deep into this, but it's called Square. And you can also record, you can set your settings to record videos in Square which is a little bit more universal to all of the platforms. That's just a little video tip for all of you guys out there, uh, but I'm not going to go deeper on that. Let's talk about cost because we're running out of time. Uh, so people are interested in to know what the cost is. They want to know if there's monthly payment options. They want to know if they can only pay yearly. Talk about that. Yeah. So we have monthly subscriptions. We have annual subscriptions. We have a full service package called Prompt where you have – everything that BombBomb Bomb has to offer, plus six weeks of coaching, uh, nurture content built every month, custom branded to you, sent on your behalf, social media content. So um, our standard base account that gives you all of the functionality of BombBomb, Bomb, but not the additional coaching and content is 588 for the entire year, okay? Works out to $49 month to month. So 588 for the entire year. Um, if you want to pay for that account monthly, it's $69 month to month. So you get a bit of a discount when you pay for it annually. Um, the best thing to do if you are interested is to go to bombbomb.com forward slash next steps. Made it pretty easy for you. You have an option to sign up for a free trial there or to buy, and you'll see your different package options. Um, if you sign up for a free trial, you are going to get a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our strategy coaches that are going to figure out what makes the most sense for your business. They're going to help you connect your CRM integrations. They're going to help you set up your Gmail. They're going to give you some actionable steps and some ideas for videos that you can be doing over that free trial so that you're really set up for success. So, so if you're unsure about what makes the most sense for you, just sign up for a free trial. Do two members have to each pay 588? Nope, it's discounted. And it's on a sliding scale, um, depending on how large of a team you're licensing. Um, so, but yeah, yeah, you're not paying 588 per license on a team at all. You're getting a discount off of that. Awesome. Um, America, I just wanted to say, uh, just DM me and I'll send you a video about what Square is. Um, and then uh, Bridget asks, uh, well, I'm sorry, this is off that topic. This is probably the last question we can answer because we're out of time. Um, she talks about Facebook's, the Facebook rep probably that was on earlier says shoot everything vertically. That's probably just a suggestion because they're pushing stories. Like stories is becoming so popular. They want people to use their stories and stories. You can still post uh, videos on your stories horizontally. It just shows up not, it doesn't fill up the whole screen. That's the difference. Uh, so you just got to play around with what works for each platform. Because if you talk to a videographer, for example, and you're creating YouTube content and you're creating like a, a professional video, horizontal is better. So yep. each, I, I don't even know why they do this. I think, I, I don't actually, I don't know the answer to this. Um, why Facebook did this to us. I'm sure they have some, some mastermind behind this, but why they wouldn't just make it all universal. Uh, but they don't. And, and so stories promotes vertical 
Some other platforms promote vertical. Most everything else promotes horizontal. So you just got to play around with it. It's not the end of the world. Don't overthink how, what orientation, uh, but you'll learn. As you do more video, you'll learn what works better for different platforms, and then you can use them. Uh, do you have anything in closing on that, or do you have anything just in closing in general? Um, I would just want to say in closing, I would encourage you guys all to right now, um, cause I know I've been doing a lot of, a lot of sessions with agents and a lot of agents are, you know, kind of in that mind frame of, okay, well, if I can't sell right now, if I have to be sensitive, what, what exactly should I be doing? And I just want to encourage you over and over and over again to show up as a human being and to try and provide value and, and value might look different now than what it did look like two months ago, right? Because the value that you have to offer in the real estate space, that may not be a conversation people are ready to have, but showing up as a human being and asking, what is, what is it that I can help you with or focusing on providing value to your community, right? Being a leader in your community right now and showing up on video and saying, you know, Hey guys, I know we love, all of our local restaurants. And some of them are, you know, struggling. Down below this video, I put a list of all of our local businesses that are offering delivery right now. This is a way that you can still show up on video to your people and in your community and provide value. It just looks a little bit different, but video is giving you the opportunity to show up with your humanity. And that's what we all need right now. 100%. And a couple of people have been commenting about the vertical versus horizontal thing. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you, Miriam. This is, that's good. Um, thank you, Alicia. Uh, if somebody wants to get a hold of you or message you, how would they do so? Um, I'm going to just go ahead and give my email address. It's Alicia. I know, right? A-L-I-C-I-A at bombbomb.com. And I'm just going to trust that uh, y'all aren't going to spam me. So, but yeah, it's Alicia <laughs> at bombbomb.com, A-L-I-C-I-A. I'm, I'm easy to find on social media platforms. Um, Alicia Baruti, I'm the only one. So I'm easy to find, connect with me. Awesome. This has been fantastic. And you know what I would say? If you're going to message Alicia, you better send her a video message. I would love, I would Just love saying. it. I would, that would make me happy. It really would. Awesome. This has been great. Thank you so much. Thank you for everyone who stuck with us today. This is a lot of content. I didn't think we were going to go for an hour. Uh, we could probably keep going. So uh, but thank you guys today. If, if uh, obviously you find value in this, make sure you share it with your colleagues and friends. People need this stuff. This is what we all need right now. And we need it going into the future. Bomb Bomb is such an amazing product. And I'm so thankful for Bomb Bomb. I'm thankful for you today, Alicia. Thank and you. Uh, I'm glad we got to, got, got to chat. I'm so glad that we got to meet this way. And I'm grateful for you as well, Jeff. We appreciate our customers that uh, spread the good word. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.